Sounds like something's on the hill. Hey there, everybody. Well, hey there, everyone. How's it going? It's going pretty good on my end. Uh, I am out here on my very first uh, canoe camping trip. Uh, I'm up here in my favorite place, Gross Reservoir. I, I got lucky with this campsite. Uh, when I first paddled up here, I saw some backpacks on this picnic table and I turned around and I started paddling back and then I found this other side with just one hammock hanging in it. And the uh, two guys that were taking over that site were actually at this site. So I actually uh, got lucky because they told me I can take this spot and this is the last campsite. So right on to them. 
I appreciate it. Uh, this guy was paddling on the biggest paddle board I've ever seen. Just crazy. But I'm up here with my dog Bruce and it's just barely seven o'clock. The sun's starting to disappear. Uh, I'm so happy to be up here. I gotta get camp set up, but camp is gonna be a little different this time. I wanted to change some stuff up, so I will show you once we start getting there. I got my big backpack, uh, backpack full of clothes and chips with my bigger sleeping bag. Uh, I'm gonna be pretty close to the water. Or I, I am not sure yet. It's gorgeous out here. I'm happy to be here. The wind comes and goes. When I was paddling in, it started getting pretty windy uh, the closer I got here. And then when I started turning around, it really kicked up. But uh, it is turning out to be a beautiful night. Or evening. Whoops. Uh, I'm glad to be here. Glad to be camping again. It's only been two weeks since I've been back, but it feels good to come back out here. So let's try and get set up, get everything going. All right, first test. And then the other test. Oh gosh, no, you can't come in here. Uh, uh, go, go. Yeah, I definitely could raise it up from that end a little more. Back off. Alright, definitely up a little higher.
so my guess is I'm gonna try and sleep this way because this part's up a little higher. Yeah, shelter's complete. Hammock set up, tarp set up. So, when I gotta uh, drive my stakes in the ground, me, I always walk around, try to find a nice uh, rock with a good flat surface. Find a good spot to start drilling these things in. And away we go. Uh, the stakes I use for a lot of my stuff is uh, MSR Groundhog stakes. I've had these things for years and they've never let me down. I've only ever owned four of them and I've had them for like eight years. Pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Yeah. But this is all set up so I guess next is my air pad and sleeping bag. I got a pad for Bruce so he can sleep on the ground under the tarp away from me. He can't sleep in the hammock. This is the first time I've ever hammock camped with him so he's kind of staring at me like what is he setting up. He's seen the hammock before but sleeping in it all night? No. Well it's time to keep it going. I'm not done yet but Sunrise is almost upon us. 45 minutes, we'll start seeing some real color. Oh, I didn't uh, inflate my air pad all the way because if I did, it probably wouldn't fit in my hammock right now. So, mostly deflated. Deflated, inflated. Inflated, whatever. But you know. Well, I didn't fill it up all the way, so that way it would fit in the hammock so now i gotta get the sleeping bag i brought my better sleeping bag this time compared to what i did on my just last trip hi right, bruce oh you're nice and dry wow oh you dried up quickly it's all set up all ready to go got my air pad my sleeping bag i even brought a pillow but uh, starting to look pretty good I just lied in it feels great and then you come out here walk out BAM table metal fire ring right next to the water could have been a little bit better but yeah I don't mind it I dig it Well, I think I got enough firewood now. Just went and cut some big old branches and then I found this giant thing. It's all pine.
levers. Watch out. I finally got fire going and now I'm cooking me a burger. That is a special kind of burger I've been saving for this journey. That is a jalapeno black pepper cheddar burger. Sounded so amazing when I saw that store, I just had to have it. Fortunately it only came with one patty, but it's a really big patty. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten for a while, but it's dark, the wind's kind of blowing, but not so fiercely. So it is time to eat some food and enjoy this. Yeah! Well, 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 wellity well. That there is the sound of an ice cold. Uh, what kind is it? I got a Mountain Standard IPA. Now you probably can't see it too well. Uh, percentage was I think like 6.9. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I got a IPA with this bomb burger. And the moon just popped out. Full moon too. So, I am thrilled. I am so thrilled about this right now. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a little windy, but that's okay. You can't always get the most perfect kind of days. You can't always get the most perfect campsite, and if you do, you just scored gold right there. Wow. Just wow. This jalapeno black cheddar or black pepper cheddar burger sounds like a rap song. It is amazing. I gotta wash it down with some cold IPA. Uh, so is this what sweet dreams are made of? So happy to be here right now. My very first canoe camping trip. I never thought I'd be able to do this, but I'm here. I'm at an actual campsite. So I realize that if I truly, truly want to, I can stay here for the rest of the week and Bruce, sit back. You just ate a whole bowl of food. I have not eaten a real food in hours. All day. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, 
excuse me but I've been wanting to do a trip like this for a long long time since I got my boat I figured I could finally do it I just wasn't sure how or where or when but I know I talked about wanting to do this uh, on my 10 day trip I think it was like more towards the end of the video and after this video why don't you go jump over and check out my 10 day series broken down into five episodes for ten days each day each uh, video is worth two days it's pretty awesome but at the time I'm recording this right now ah I'm still uh, editing I just released uh, episode three yesterday Next week I'll do uh, episode four. Yeah, so it was an awesome trip. I had a blast. Something I never thought I'd be able to do, but I went and did it. We made the journey, me and Bruce. It was an awesome time, even though it rained most of the time. But still, it was a great, great time. I had a blast. This burger is delicious. This beer is delicious. This fire is awesome. The view is amazing. And surprisingly, ah, I'm not cold at all. Why? Why is it when I come over here, you decide to now decide to start blowing over here? You've been blowing off in way other direction. Campfires, they just do what they want with a little help from the wind. so happy to got in this campsite so happy with the two guys that gave this site to me otherwise I don't know where I'd be oh. this is amazing stars are shining moon's getting ready to go into full of shine the lake looks amazing. Gonna go down later, take some pictures. And I'll talk more tomorrow. Right now it's nighttime, so I really can't show too much. I got here, I got to the lake by 4.30. I didn't start paddling till a little after five. I got to my campsite by 6.30, so I think I did pretty good on timing and I was able to locate some firewood. That was delicious. Well, time to finish this beer. And I'll get back to you guys soon. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers, mate. Would you like to go sail on a boat? 
This is so fantastic. You know, just sitting here, there's a full moon right across from me. I got this nice fire. I feel pretty good. Got me a good IPA, good beer. Stars are on one side, moon's on the other side. Sky is breaking apart all the clouds are out towards the east and when you look towards the west there's just ain't a single cloud it's turning out to be a great night and I get service so uh, which is ironic uh, but anywho, so I came to a conclusion instead of moving camp and trying to go somewhere else since when I got this really cool campsite. Uh, tomorrow I will wake up early. I will gather what I need and I will fish and paddle all day tomorrow. We'll go exploring, we'll go check out places, we'll fish, we'll we'll do it all in tomorrow. I've got a full day of just amazing stuff tomorrow. Okay? That's it. Just awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm a little buzz right now. Well, I feel pretty good. Uh got still got plenty of firewood. Bruce is over under the hammock sleeping. He's I uh, brought a pad for him, so he's sleeping on that. I mean, I am still wa so warm that normally around this time when it's almost 11, I am wearing a beanie and my hoodie by now. And I don't need it because it actually isn't cold. I'm still pretty warm. Uh, oh. oh, but probably for bed though. I don't know. Definitely different sleeping this close to the water. I could have brought a tent, but I didn't want to. I wanted to do something a little different, you know. I'm always. Uh, kind of offering the same thing I guess maybe not really I mean I do get myself in quite a bit don't get me wrong but for this kind of trip uh, I took the combination of both both things that I love to do lately and that is canoeing and camping so I finally was able to come out here and do such things and it's starting to look pretty amazing. I got to paddle in with all my uh, gear. Had my boat pretty way down. Pretty good. Uh, I'll talk about what I brought tomorrow, but I think it did pretty good. The winds kicked up a little. Uh, Got a little fierce when I started turning it back around. Glad to find this campsite. Glad those two guys helped me out with this. Glad to be here. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted. So this is a hammock, bushcrafting, canoe camping kind of trip. There, I said it. I got the lake right next to me. I mean, picnic table is pretty cool. Metal fire pit. I'm like on this cool ledge. 
it's cool. It's cool. I like it. I like it. Compared to what I just did two weeks ago for 10 days, this is definitely a different feeling. And this is pretty cool. So tomorrow it'll definitely be an amazing day. But you know, I'm rambling on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, just talking. The fire feels great. I need to put some more firewood on it. Here. Oh. Got some more firewood on. But, you know, I think this is all that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. Just sit. I'm going to hang out for... What time is it? Okay. Uh, probably stay up till midnight. Another hour. Hour, practically. And crawl into bed. Crawl into the hammock. Wake up early and start my fishing day. Oh, uh, I'll see you in the morning. And yeah, nighty night. Where are you, Waldo? What? Don't judge me. Well, good morning. How's it going? Uh, I woke up about 20 minutes ago. Had to change clothes. I uh, had to really go to the bathroom. I had to go, go, go relieve the prairie dog. So, oh, wow, my fire's starting to smolder again. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is very early. It is 6.30. I woke up just a little after 6. Uh, the weather is supposed to be very gorgeous today. It's supposed to be hot. There are some clouds already, but that's just expected. I slept pretty well in the hammock. I was actually really warm all night. I never felt chilly at all. I never got cold. I just wore my thermals and my hoodie and my beanie. And I slept pretty well. Bruce was on the ground. I woke up a couple of times to him trying to climb into the hammock. Doesn't realize that he cannot. He has his own bedding below, but he figured it out at some point. 
Uh, now our uh, fire smoldering again. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna start getting ready here soon. Uh, I'm gonna start gathering what I need for the day. And like I said yesterday, it's gonna be some exploring, some crazy fishing. I'm gonna be trolling these waters. I'm gonna, I have everything I need to fish. And when I get to the inlet, I'm gonna bring my fly rod so I can fly fish. Well, that way, hopefully I can have fish for dinner tonight. That would be amazing. Oh, so I'm just uh, trying to get my butt motivated. Uh, still tired. I do have a cooler. This is my kayaking cooler. Uh, my friend Travis gave it to me last year. <coughs> it fits great in a canoe. So, you know, I want something right now because I packed it and I brought it. Well, I brought two of them. Uh, where are you? I got a Red Bull blueberry one. I got two of those because I knew I was waking up early. I need something to wake me up. Compared to what I, my backpacking trip, how I was only allowed to bring certain things with the canoe, I could bring a little more. So the cooler came, of course, so that way Instead of backpacker meals, I can actually eat real food, like a burger last night. And I still have two more burgers in here, but hopefully that'll be added on with some fish later today. And the area I went and walked towards, I found a whole mess of firewood that I will take later today. But for now, I'm going to drink this. Get my stuff ready, and I'll see you in a bit. There's a huge crawdad right there.
starting room where I launched out at. Still on my way towards the fishing spot. Oh, I pulled in my other lure and I tossed another that I'm trolling. Uh, this is a new one. It's a silver orange striped spoon. It's pretty good size. And I released my line all the way down to nothing. So I got just a little bit. Just in case I do hook that fish. Uh, it's just so awesome out here. I couldn't tell you uh, last time I saw this place uh, it was completely full. It's probably been more than a year since I was able to come up here to the inlet. Uh, I think what I did was for my re after my birthday last year, I came up here with a couple of friends. And we cooked breakfast and we hiked up to this one spot that we found, and oh my gosh, we were just slaying fish like crazy. Wow, well, I was. I caught seven fish in a row, including one pretty good sized lake trout. Uh, to be able to paddle back over to the inlet will be amazing. It's nice to see the water up this high again. As you recall, if you go and uh, check out my other video, Gross Reservoir at an all time low. When uh, me and my friend Travis came up here a couple months ago, the water was like half empty. <coughs> uh, excuse me. But it's still it's a nice feeling to see all this, but it also makes the fishing a little. Maybe when I get into the inlet, which I'm about to uh, hit it here soon. It's this giant stretch that goes all the way back. You know. I've been up here a bunch. I've taped this thing a bunch, but this is my first canoe camping trip up here. Which is a different experience. Oh, and the wind is kind of breezy. It's not bad. The sun's blocked out by strain of clouds, so just going to keep pushing. Yeah. I accidentally knocked my fishing pole off the boat. Well, let's check in here. Oh, so, straight ahead is the area that me and my friend Squirrel uh, hung out at. We came up here last year at the end of the season. And I was talking about like where the water normally is and I'm not used to it being this down low, so yeah, I figure I'll go paddle over there, check it out. Probably hang out for a moment before we get to the actual inlet. The starting point of it. Usually, that's where I always caught fish. Hoping I'll be able to go back to camp with some fish dinner. Slay them over the campfire. Have that great. That'd be, that'd be the best day. Best day by far. Two good sized fish. If I catch one really big fish, then yeah. But, oh, I'm still trolling. I uh, haven't caught anything yet. Like I said, the water's deep out here, so the fish usually like to stay pretty far down. And a lot of the time, your line's not going to reach that far. It's just kind of good because I don't ever have to worry about getting snagged. But last time I was up here, I just barely hit this section and already caught a fish, but lost him immediately.
the water is up here. Everywhere I am going, it is higher than I normally used to see it, which is great. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love it. But I was just amazed right now. Like, this is like this little cutoff area I'm paddling up to. I've never been able to get this far back here. Every time I've been up here, this is a first for sure. Water is just so deep. It's probably like 10 feet right here. I don't. I didn't break my fish finder, so I can't check the depth of the water. Should have brought it. it fits perfectly in my uh, fishing box, but oh well. I also forgot gloves. But some other stuff that happens. I'm only out here for a couple of days, so I can live and survive. Oh, tiny fish just jumped. Let's see if I can fish it. Looks like little fish in here. Using a pretty, pretty big spoon as you can tell. See, like I said, orange striped silver. It's got that pretty feeling to it. I picked it up right for her this trip. Uh, I lost my other favorite one on my 10 day trip. That was a red stripe. Thank you. 
Oh, straight up ahead, uh, where this bend meets and where this crosses, this is as far up as me and my uh, friend Travis were able to uh, make it last time we were here. And then we had a hike around the bend just to try to get close to the inlet and we couldn't even get close. It was just a series of rapids going all the way. It was nuts. But seeing it up high again, this is gonna be great. Let's return for some fishing action. Ain't that right there, Brosse? Uh, he's ready to get out of the boat.
I had one. I had a fish. It was a rainbow trout. It was 12 inches. I had him right up to the boat. Right when I went to go in to grab him, he shook himself freely. Poor shame. trying and see what happens. Went for it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Oh well, okay, and you do. Just keep fishing. I, I almost lost my fishing pole. I felt something almost rip it out of the boat. I went to go grab it. I thought it might have snagged because I was got pretty close to the shoreline. I started reeling it in and I felt something on the end fighting back. Oh, I started reeling in like a madman. True enough, he got free right when I got him up to the boat. This time, I was trying to turn on the camera first. couple hours since we last talked. I am paddling towards the dam right now. I want to go check it out. a really large fish jumping in front of me. And I'll tell you that's not a carp because I don't have carp up here. That's a large fish. I don't know what he was, but let's go hunt him down.
rainbow I've ever caught. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Nope, nope, nope. And he swallowed the hook, he's bleeding out. He's coming home with me, he's going back to camp. Oh gosh. Look at that, it's a beauty rainbow trout. saw that. That's a good fish. That's a nice fish right there. Yeah, boy. Dinner. Should we try to make it two? Twosies? This is all that I was using too. I mean, he took that pretty well. That was awesome. That was awesome. And you saw it. You got it. Oh.
Wait a second. This ain't the same campsite. Well, you're probably wondering why my campsite looks different. Well, for those couple of hours that I told you that I didn't want to talk to you guys, well, I was paddling towards that area. I just went to the second cutoff to this lake, a new spot. And when I was uh, paddling by this campsite, there's this couple. There's this couple here fishing. The other people that were camping here packed up and they got them uh, right when they were leaving. Apparently there were some other people that were getting ready to head over here, but they took over the spot. So I paddled over here and I talked to them. Really cool couple. And uh Sorry. I asked him if uh, it was okay if I grabbed my stuff from my other campsite and brought it over here and I told them they could stay here as long as they want and fish all day if they have to. I was going to be leaving anyways. They said yeah. So I grabbed all my stuff and I reset my hammock up and everything is like as if I never left. So. This is probably going to be the best campsite I've ever had. No joke. And I'm probably going to go swimming here in a little bit. Here, 
Come on, Bruce. Ready? 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 Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get the snake. Went and uh, searched for some firewood and I got this. <coughs> Darn it. Excuse me, sorry. Yeah, you got this giant branch. Look at that pink on it. And then I went and got this. It's like a bird's nest. It's just a dense clutter. This thing will light up instantly. So that'll be some great tender. And then, oh, camera's blurt. And then I went and got this piece. And then went and collected my firewood from my last campsite. So I think I'll be pretty good. I'm gonna process all this after I munch on some stuff and then get this all put down in smaller pieces. Let there be fire! Well, it's time to, yeah, look at that thing. It's a good sized fish right there. Fattest rainbow trout I've ever caught. So I'm gonna go process them right now. Now that I got the fire going and get ready to cook this beast. The guys. All right, I'm gonna start uh, getting the fish ready to put on the fire. We got a hunk of aluminum from my 10 day trip. So I got some uh, special seasoning for the fish. Oh, 
So I'm gonna flay these actually. This isn't a flay knife, so that's why this is, uh, you know what, I need a better knife, so wrap it. looks like a little burrito fish is ready to go on the fire Sizzle. Well, fish is cooked. Uh, I'm going to tear into this thing. It tastes fantastic.
So I dispose of these on the fire. And the rest of this just eat away. This is probably by far the best day I've had in a long while, even over my 10 day trip. I don't mind the wind a little, choose it over rain. still some fish bones that you do pull out. Most of it just comes right off. And I still got two burgers I'm gonna eat later. This is just to hold me out for a while. I was going to go jump back in the boat and go paddle for a little bit. I gotta go wash my hands. Black from touching the the burnt aluminum. Ooh. You know, that fish was so delicious. I think I'm gonna have myself an IPA uh, beer. You know, it's a Mountain Standard. It's a uh, at 6.9 percent. It's got a little uh, history on the side of it. I'll read it to you. So well, this is Mountain Standard, a tribute to our backyard, the Rocky Mountains lifestyle. Hand selected modern American hop varieties build layers of complex hop flavors with juicy tropical notes, full of vibrant aromas. Aromas, or join us as we help define mountain style IPA. Bam, there you go. I gave Bruce some food, the last of his food, since we were leaving tomorrow. I wish I had more time out here. This campsite, I'd be able to really go out and just figure out where the fishing is really good at. But, you know, we'll go out, I'll paddle a little bit. It would be interesting to go swimming right now, but I'm not going to. Oh, this has just been an amazing day. Hit the inlet, didn't catch anything, almost had something. I could have had like three fish today. 
Uh, first one got away towards the inlet. Second one got him right to the edge of the boat. Reached in to grab him. He was a little bit smaller than that. Uh, yeah. But went and explored the lake, went to a new area, went towards the dam, caught that nice sized rainbow. Weather hasn't been bad. Gets a lot, it got a little cloudy here and there. Wind would pick up, but by far it's been amazing. I got to upgrade my campsite. I got plenty of firewood, more beer, and a heck of a sunset. This is by far the most amazing place I've been to. I love Gross. The name, eh. But the place, breathtaking. It's amazing. It's something that I... You can't find anywhere else. This place is just huge. It takes hours to paddle. To come out here for a little bit, it just doesn't happen. Some people do. Me, I always make a full day out of this. I love it, though. I love being out here. I love doing this. I love camping. I'm not a survivalist expert, but I love camping and... I just know my basics. Just enough to build a fire, make a shelter, use my environment. I've been getting better with my bushcrafting, but I would like to know more. There's a lot more that I can learn, and I would definitely love to learn more. Love to keep excelling my skills, keep pushing forward, and keep being able to come out here and doing this kind of stuff. It's always great to have Bruce with me. That dog is amazing. He, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever talked about this before, maybe. But, so I got him in March, uh, about a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. And I rescued him from the shelter. He was 11 months old when I got him. He's a black lab with the Border Collie mix, but you don't know that until you see his white patch underneath of him. Otherwise, to most, he looks like a black lab. He's ornery as heck. Stubborn. It's like both sides just take over. And he's just, yeah. But in the end, he's a great dog. He does what I say. Besides moments when he sees people and dogs, he, he's so friendly, he loves greeting people. He loves greeting the dogs. He loves saying hi to everybody. He's just an all out friendly guy. And that is an amazing thing. He loves going boating with me, all the adventures we do. We just have so much fun together. He is an amazing dog and I love him. Oh, bros. Did you get enough to eat, huh? He's always good. He's always there. Stays right by my side. Never goes wandering off too far. Besides our first camping trip, when he went way off and I couldn't find him for like an hour. But... That was in the beginning, and we've been together for a while now, and we're just, he's always there. You see, you guys see, he's always usually on most ventures. If you're new, go check out some of my other ventures. He's usually with me on most stuff. The one time I didn't have him on a camping trip is when I went to Moab. But... Yeah, I'm gonna sit here, enjoy this, hang out with Bruce, get back to you. Probably when I'm out in the boat. Boat, 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 boat. 
Sitting here, out on the water, enjoying this. This is awesome. Fire's going in camp. I'm literally right by the shore, so there's no concern. I'm watching it. But. Sun's gone, a little bit of lights left. Kind of just hanging out. I don't even know if you can see me. My camera doesn't have those screens that pop out. But it is a lovely night. I did go swimming again in the dark. Oh, that was so sketchy and cold. Very, very cold. I couldn't record it because it was just dark out. The GoPro wouldn't have caught it. The camera probably would have caught it. Oh, yeah. Just kind of hanging out. Enjoying this. This is nice. I just cooked some burgers, getting ready to eat them. I hope you can see me all right. Between the light and the fire, hope so. But it's turning out to be a really nice night besides a little wind. I was out on the lake, I was out paddling. Got this really cool picture. Just kind of hanging out now. It's about almost 9:30. I got one giant log left and some smaller pieces, and that's it for firewood. And I like the bird's nest thing. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, much appreciated. Well, I'm gonna eat. Get back to you soon. Peace. Just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah, this is heaven. This is peaceful. Moons finally came over the horizon. I was out taking pictures. 
got some pretty cool shots I like I like what this camera can do compared to what I've had I couldn't get these cool nighttime shots on any camera I've ever owned I shoot off of a Nikon D3200 and let me just say, to me, it's been holding out. I mean, yeah, some could be better, but in my state, it's working. Oh, there it goes. It's beer, man. been really the nice though. Had a really good night. Had it. Uh, day's been great. Night's been good. Fire's roaring. Getting pretty low on firewood. It does this. It just goes straight inferno mode. Burns a little bit. Little skinny twigs that I throw in there just instantly. But I do got a super sized log that I'm saving for the very end. That thing will burn for a while. I had two of them. And I burned one last night. And that thing burned for an hour by itself before it finally just charred to nothing. I put it on a pretty large fire and that thing just cooked. Uh, what I found earlier was some red pine really good stuff I like the smell of it especially when you burn it and before you burn it uh, this is just uh, great be out here doing my first canoe camping trip never feels like enough time I mean, when I did my 10 day trip uh, just recently it's amazing how fast it went but at the same time it also seemed like it days took forever but it was just great it was, I never worried about time out there I didn't care I didn't care about time then I had so much time out there that I just didn't care. I didn't care what time it was. I just was in the moment. To be out here and doing this out of my boat, out of my Old Town Decks canoe, it's great. I would say that thing is held up. It's been a great boat. And I can't wait for many more trips with it. It does really well. And I really enjoy it. The things I've put it through. Where I've been. What I've got to do with it. And then finally being able to do a camping trip out of it. I got this cool campsite. Yesterday was alright, but this campsite is off the charts. This is everything I want. I got a beach right next to me. Waterways all around. Cool areas to go swimming. Amazing views. It's all flat, so, uh, oh, yeah, most of it. So it's some really good tent areas. There's some good hammock areas, some decent. It's not bad. I like it. I like this area. Maybe one day in the near future, I could plan like an extended canoe trip.
we'll see the we want to be this here maybe like some time later It'd be really cool come out here for like a week try to take this campsite just go on a hardcore fishing trip exploring the areas hiking going around new spots I always wanted to come up here on a weekday but Bruce is sleeping. I gotta put firewood on. Fire's getting low.
I wanted to talk about my uh, setup, uh, what I, why I chose this for this trip. Uh, so this is my Eno tarp. You've seen this before, and this is also my Eno hammock. Uh, this is a devil's nest. Uh, I that was all they had when I went and got one. So I got a really big one, which it actually works out. So uh, my air mattress. It's the Calmet. It's uh, extra large. It actually, kind of fits in there. If I'm sleeping, yeah. But it worked out great. Uh, kind of. I woke up each day today, yesterday, and did actually no aches, pains, sleeping on the ground. You're like feel a little lopsided this I just woke up and I kind of wanted to stay in bed all day but this is my setup and the way how I did it is these are uh, my climbing straps so these uh, actually belong in Nope. These actually belong in my uh, climbing bag, but I also use it for my hammock. They can support a lot of weight, so I use them uh, for this purpose too. And then I said er, uh, earlier, or uh, Friday about what steaks I use and I'm using uh, MSR groundhog steaks come on camera Yeah, so I use those for my tent and also for practically anything that needs to be staked down. It's uh, been a, a, a really good setup. I haven't done a hammock camp in a long while. And it definitely worked out good for a canoe trip. So. I wanted to talk about it before I broke it down. The yellow pad is for Bruce. I had a rope tied around the tree and tied to him so nothing could lure him away. Uh, there are coyotes and bears and mountain lions in this area, oh my. But he'd usually uh, sleep right on the edge. I mean, we were never expecting any rain. By nighttime, the sky cleared out and it was just gorgeous. He just was upset because he couldn't sleep right next to me. And he wanted to try to climb in the hammock, couldn't. And then I would keep everything on the other side and just uh, pile it all on top of each other under the tarp. And then, of course, this is camp. This is by far an awesome site. I mean, I got access to the water right there. I got access to the water right there where my boat is. There, there's really good spots, uh, really deep over there. Great swimming hole. 
but you can only do this when the water is up at its max level when it gets down to any lower you won't be able to be up here I mean you can but you just water is going to be all the way down get my drift drifting on a boat uh, yes this is a great campsite I love it one of the best Uh, I really like, love these uh, Eno hammocks. Things are comfy, they're really lightweight. And the best part about this is the pockets already mounted. Oh, the one I put my headlamp in there. Then you just push it in there, stuff it in. And the color, I like the color. Green and the brown, or tan. Yeah, it's more like brown, tan brown. It's like a wee little grapefruit. It's moments like this just make you sad knowing that it's time it's time to say goodbye it's time to go it's time to paddle my butt on out of here and get back to the boating ramp and meet my ride I've had fun I, I've had a blast this has been one of the best trips I've been on lately. I mean, besides my last one, too. But still, the first canoe camping trip I've ever done, paddled here, and I couldn't have done it without my uh, two friends, Ed and Angela. They really helped me out on this one. Uh, you're not allowed to park overnight in the parking lot, so trying to do that and then paddle over here you go back in your vehicle and be towed. Well, 
it's been a real blast. It's just sad to go, but to go home, eat some food, take a shower. I've been in the lake a few times. Gonna have fun, relax, look back on all this through the videos. My boat looks like it's ready to conquer the seven seas. Water's starting to get really choppy, wavy. But that thing does great. It's not really bad. But thanks for everybody. It was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be plenty more coming. Uh, different, I'll change it up here soon do some other stuff but thanks again i hope you guys have a great one and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one take care everybody